a paltry man and poor of mind at all things ever mocks for never he knows what he ought to know that he is not free from faults Hey everyone, it's Jeremy, and welcome back to turn 22 of Ares, where we are playing the Welliverd, God of Utgard. And this should be a pretty exciting turn for us, so let's go ahead and jump into things. Uh, we have a messenger from Midgard. Uh, if you left me alone, I could end Lemuria before he destroys everybody. A turn 20 Lemuria is a lot easier to deal with than a turn 50 Lemuria. I, I mean, I, I don't know if this is like a, um, making sure I don't come at him, but I haven't done anything to him, so... You know, I, okay, sure, great, fantastic. Uh, we completed Thaumaturgy 3, and we completed Conjuration 1. Wonderful. Uh, got some Blood Hunters, and we have some battles, right? Obviously, these are the big deals. So let's go and watch Copper Woods first. This is where we are trying to take the fortress. So. And what do we got? All right, so not really much in this uh, fortress. We'll probably throw our javelins and then rush on in. Ooh, that guy is mind blasting or mind burning. All right, so immediately I am noticing a problem, right? And this is a scripting error on my part. Uh, I sh I'll definitely make sure to alter that with some of my troops um, for the Ulm battle itself. But I should have had these guys on attack rear. So they come in and clean up the mages instead of getting all tied up with the uh, archers on the walls, right? The archers on the walls are significantly less important. So I'll make sure we have some units that are on attack rear command so that we'll uh, be able to punch through places. Good, good. Um, lost one, Garm Herding. Lost one, Godi Huskarl. Not too bad. Uh, what do we have? Okay, battle in Ulm. So this could be the big one. Um, it's so... Ulm, what I made was a very obvious move, right? Ulm could have PD dumped. Uh, he could have everything in his fortress patrolling. Who knows, right? So, let's see. We have our big old line. <laughs> and it looks like neither. So this does not look like it's a PD dump and it's definitely not, um, definitely not patrolling. So, it uh, looks like all of the forces that he has uh, will be arrayed inside the fortress itself. Um, and we'll have to, we'll have to siege him out. Okay. So, we have uh, a, wow, damn, that is a, for considering, considering we didn't start until the script was done to start pooping out uh, hordes of skeletons, that's a lot of skeletons. Um... Yeah, okay, so we're probably in a prolonged battle, which a battle at a fortress absolutely will be, right? Uh, this is These guys are probably going to die, right? We're going to get them up. Don't get me wrong, they're going to produce a bunch of skeletons, right? But they're going to die. Um, this is not... We are not to the Turbo Communion scenario yet. We don't have, like, relief on board or anything like that. Um, so, they're definitely going to die, but... We'll, we'll work it out. So we got uh, 16 Lung Deads dead and one Garm Herding dead. That's not too bad. All right, we have a bunch of unexpected events. Let's go through these. So Unrest and Turmoil. That sucks. Uh, ooh. Cult of Gaia has gained Dominion in the Copper Woods. So we've lost Dominion and we've gained Growth. That's not really a, f a trade that I prefer. <laughs> um... Ooh, plus 10 defense, that's nice. Um, and we have lost a province. <sighs> the best event, right? It's not even just like, you can't defend against it at all, right? It's not a, it's not a, oh, well, you're getting attacked by barbarians or, you know, a wild boar or something like that. No, it's just, you straight up lose the province because I'm a, I'm an oppressive ruler. There's like no unrest there. This is horseshit. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so, uh, they've, they've come and they've taken Rim Mountains. Um, the Throne of Gaia has, oh, th they're slumbering now. Okay, not a big deal. Man. Um, the walls are severely damaged on Ulm and we've done a bit of patrolling. Okay, so let's take a look at the world. Um, so we lost Rim Mountains up here. Um, we 
<laughs> oh, oh, um, I should show this. Can I show this? I don't know how to show this. Um, so our, it is, it is the turn. The turn is nigh. Um, oh man, how do I show this? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit in right here. You are looking at the image that I'm showing you. <laughs> and the image that I'm showing you is, uh, the screenshot sent to me by, um, Atlantis, right? Um, and Atlantis has, uh, lost the dance party um but they have sent forth a valiant effort <laughs> to uh to kind of like um i uh, they saw my scouting report before i saw theirs so they kind of uh they they played around with this just to have some fun but uh um so that is that's the end of the dance party we can start filtering these scouts out all throughout the world um and that's good because we probably kind of need to um one thing of note and and neither of us did this right we probably should have like blocked off our uh, gem supplies and what our incomes were but interestingly enough um i thought myself uh, a handsomely wealthy man right uh but interestingly enough atlantis has more income than me and less upkeep than I do. So <laughs> that's good to know, right? Uh, making the fishmen's lands look a little more tasty. Speaking of lands that are looking more tasty, this is kind of terrifying, right? So all of a sudden, we went from having a little army over... Well, I mean a little army. A little 30 stack here and like a uh, 50 or 60 stack over here, right? Or over here. And they have all combined to be a very large army here in the range of shadows now my assumption is is that this is just a consolidation maneuver um but i do not know that to be the case so we have a couple of things that we need to be worried about because he could just pop right on to dofaros um and that would be incredibly bad so um hopefully that is not going to be the case um, all right, so what else are what else is going on? So we have moved on to Ulm. Um, the siege is here, right? Uh, but we have not broken the fort yet, which means he has a whole well, no, okay, so it's a big fort. So he has his 750 wall integrity. If I don't break it next turn, which I should, right? The walls were severely damaged this turn. I should break it next turn. Um, but if we don't, that's going to be kind of uh, iffy. All right, so what else am I going to do? Well, really, I am going to reinforce this because I think this is the linchpin. If I win this, great, fantastic. I'll roll over um, and we won't have to worry about things anymore. Go from there. Um, but if I don't, if I lose this, then I'm in a pretty bad way, probably. So, what are we going to do? Well, one, we are going to uh, reinforce with Big Goat. I'm dropping off the Huskarls because they don't have enough map move, right? And then Big Goat 1 can actually make it all the way over to Ulm. Um, and he's just going to have a fat plop. And like I said, right, I'm going to have... Uh, uh, I'm going to have some attack rear commands right and we're gonna have this with a couple of individual units so one thing is we're gonna have hold an attack rear on the giants spec here right and then we're also going to take uh we already have hold an attack rear on the garma herdings here and here so that's good um and then we're probably going to take one of these as hold an attack rear most okay so that will be that um, just to make sure that if we do get units through the gate, there isn't the whole shenanigans of running up on the walls and doing nothing for 15,000 hours. Okay. Um, so what else is happening? Well, we're going to take COM3, and load them up with a whole bunch of stuff. Fire closest. 
I'm actually just going to set these to guard commander and set him to hold, 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 stay behind. And these guys are going to go back to Ironwood Forest and try to take that out for us. Okay. Um, bada, 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 bada. We have a bunch of blood slaves to pick up. So we're going to do that. And we have our first Sanguine Dowsing Rod, right? We're going to pick that up next turn with this Scout. And when he goes back, he's going to drop off two. Oh, no, I can't. Crap. Unfortunate. I wanted to drop off two, but we're shy on what we can produce. So he might have to wait around a turn um, when he drops off Slaves. So we'll see. We we'll, we should have we should have Gunloth and Yalar. Yeah, I Yalar. I can't I can't do the the roll the tongue roll there. I'm just gonna call him Yalar. Um, he, they're gonna have uh, Sanguine Dowsing Rods within the next uh, three turns. So we'll get that all taken care of. Uh, what else? That's a good question. Because it really depends on a couple of different situations. I do not want to have myself in a bad scenario. Um, caught with my pants down, basically, and have Gath just stab me in the back. Uh, that would be very unfun. Um, so that's part of what this is, right? Um, not only do I want to take Ironwood back, but I also want to get this army out of Defaros. Right? Because if it's out of Defaros, then I can combine forces to do other things. If it's stuck in Defaros, then I can't really respond very well. So. Um, oh, right. We have Jarl 3 now. We pick up units. Yeah, King 2 is coming down here. Let's start moving around. We can't make another sanguine dowsing wrong wrong rod with satung so we're going to probably could do i can't oh my goodness too many things i have so many things that i i need to get out there you know what let's do a blood hunt or not a blood hunt let's do a site search with gunloth real quick over here let's see if i get lucky and get some water sites um, I need to get. I might have to swap Satung and Blood uh, and Gunloth and use Gunloth as kind of a water light searcher. Um, okay, so we have this Nornia. Uh, hmm. Oh, we got a Death Three. That's really good for us. That means uh, with a Skull Staff, we can get up to Death Four. Um, I mean, we still don't have an easy way to get to death five, but uh, one empower is better than two empowers, so that's a route up, and then death five gets us death six. Um, pretty easy in the bag from there, basically. Um, okay. Darl three, I think, is probably not going to go anywhere, really, at the moment. Jarl 3 is probably just going to preach, even though he is not preaching effective. Yeah, that's fine. Satung so is going to research for now. Speaking of research, we'll have 300. We should break into Conjuration next turn. We're going to have seven gems, so we'll be able to sight search once remotely, and then the turn after that we'll be able to sight search remotely again. But if we don't get any other death gems, then we'll have to start waiting turns. So fingers crossed on that. Probably going to target... I don't have any swamps, do I? I do not. I do have a wasteland, so I'll probably target the wasteland first. Desert of the Cliff Dwellers. And then probably the woods, honestly. Uh, the Copper Canyons might be fine as well. So, do something along those lines. Um, we are going to start 
sending the scouts out in every direction. Literally every direction. Um, so we're going to send everyone out in every direction, and as we start to get further out, we'll start to branch them off um, so we can actually see what is going on. Um, these scouts are going to stay in this area. We're trying to keep eyes on what's actually happening down here. Um, code 1. I don't think I want to spend money immediately on... Uh, a temple down here. So I'll probably just start preaching. Got a... Ah, ah, that was where part of my income was going. I was like, this is a lot to be missing for only 800 100 upkeep. But I had a, I had a Jarl tacked on to the Seath Kona there. Um, okay. Um, you know what I should do? I should move uh, Jarl 3 down to see if I can't catch up with somebody. Um, and what I mean by that is is uh, to see if I can't um, get him over to uh, COM 3 and take over this command of this actual unit. Because right? it's uh, much better in the hands of Jarl 3 than it is in COM 3. Two or com three. Um, this king is going back to pick up undead, but also probably to head over here towards Rim Mountains. Um, and what to do with the Seath Kona? Realistically, probably I will. Hmm, just or or not Seath Kona. This Norna, the extra commander point. I probably just hit a Norna up, honestly. Um, and I think it's time to... Let's do this. This is definitely an option. Closer to my front line. Right. Um, and we'll go for something like that. Because this can still reinforce this army. So it'll be up to 16 and 30. And then, if everything is fine over here, um, great. If not, then recruiting 10 guys to stand in front of these Seath Konas while they spam Horde of Skeletons uh, might not be a bad idea. It's not going to save me, but it might do more damage than, than what I would be doing otherwise. Okay, so... Um, Gonna come down. I want to get a good uh, understanding of what's going on in Gath's land, so I'm sending that scout further out. Um, in another 10 turns, 5 to 10 turns, um, if we're alive that long, our scouting network should be back to where it should be at this moment. Um, hopefully, this battle, this war against Ulm, is in our favor and we don't get stabbed in the back while we're down there. Um, if I needed to, I could throw together. Because we can probably get up to Waywoods, right? I can throw together a defensive fighting force pretty quickly. But this is definitely going to put me on the back foot if if I were to get attacked at the moment. So, is there anything? Conjuration 3. There's nothing that I want right now, but we can rely on things like Sloth of Bears. Um, spamming that out uh, to do certain things. Do I want to do, and this is something I could do for later on. Hmm. Some interesting items. I have a lot of nature gems right now. I haven't gotten a N3 out of the Nornas. Oh, I can't. Well, I can get an N3, but it's unlikely. Um, so I've gotten my N2, which is the the good one. So that gets me Thistle Mace, which I'm probably going to go ahead and do. And um, actually, 
Is anybody gonna go for Mother Oak in this game? I don't know. I don't actually... Because, okay, so it's definitely not in the Lemuria. It's not going to be Ulm, right? I, it's not going to be Midgard. Um, Gath, maybe, because they have uh, these ladies? They have a better one. This one, the Abbas, right? But they're only nature, too. They can't really go any higher. Um, hmm. Probably makes more sense for someone to, like, snag it once a pretender comes out, right? Um, oh, Erythia. Erythia's got decent um, nature, don't they? No, oh, it doesn't look like it. Whoa, those, those ladies are freaking cool. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, they do not have uh, good nature. And Atlantis is all, like, astral and water. Death. I feel like it's just me. Maybe Vadiheim? Maybe Vadiheim. Maybe Vadiheim. Yeah, Vadiheim. They can get the Vadi... The Vedi Gijas. Um, can get two. Hmm. That's actually interesting. That's, that's interesting. We have a potential opportunity... To just rush up and try to get Mother Oak. Well, I, I say rush up and get Mother Oak, right? So what what would that even look like? We would have to we would have to take a Norna, give her a Thistle Mace, and then empower her twice, right? Empowering a Norna once in nature is 45 gems. So not like this is gonna be a simple task. But it's something that we can consider. Also, I'm probably going to start just doing horror specs. Um, now that I think about it. This is my only... Well, I have another... That's... Oh, I just realized this. This Norna got a 10% random. Yep, she did. She got uh, she got nature and death, so she got one of those from the hundred percent and one of those from the tenth percent. Um, so that's that's pretty good, but unfortunately not the good good, right? Had that been nature three or death four, that would have been just mind blowingly good. Right? Because it's at that scenario, it's a Skull Staff gets you uh, Death 5, or a Thistle Mace gets you uh, Nature 4, and you only have to empower once to get to Nature 5, you know? So that's, uh, that would have been pretty awesome. So I think what we do for right now is we just drop the horror specs. Um, yeah, we'll just start. We'll start doing that because we have enough Nature Gems. Um, and our site search, here's the, again, right? I talked about this previously. Normally, I do not like to do, well, I say that. Some some nations I like to site search spam on, others I do not. This is one of those nations that normally I wouldn't site search spam on because they cover, they have very good site searches with the Seaths, right? Three paths all across the board, and those are the paths you want. But I've gotten crap as far as sites go, so... Um, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to rely on that manual searching or that uh, that automated searching so. Okay, I think that is probably about all that I can do at the moment. I can afford one scout. So we're gonna do it Get another scout fantastic. All right. Uh, I think that is about it um, Time to jump over to messages and we've got a couple this time around not a crazy amount but uh, we are going to reply to Midgard, right? We're going to say, we have been no obstacle to your attack on the dead men, and we have no intent of, cha of that changing anytime soon. Good luck. Um, just to reinforce that to them. Um, that being said, if we have an opportunity, we'll absolutely turn on them. Um, and text message to Gath. It's a rather large army in one. We do hope that this is pointed in a different direction question mark uh just to see how things are going right he basically did the same earlier to me right asking uh when i was bringing the army down to ulm he basically asked 
the same thing of me, so I'm just doing it back at him. Um, and I'm going to send a message to Atlantis uh, saying that was a fun little side game. Thanks for playing along with me. As a heads up, I just had Rebels take 35, but I do plan on moving over there and taking that, just hoping to avoid a bump. So um, had a good time with the little side game with Atlantis. But now it's all back to business, I say, because that's totally not... Nah, it's not back to business. I'm going to dick around as much as I can in this game. So... Another text message, or another text message, another message to everyone. And this time we're going to say the water of the well churns and foments. Because uh, I think that's what's happening a lot. We have a whole lot of activity. If we actually like look around this turn, we're moving a lot of different spaces. We're trying to respond to certain different things. Um, we're trying to get certain um, portions of our, our game online. Uh, we're in a war with someone, we might get stabbed in the back by someone, we might have thousands of elves in our lands at this very moment. I really hope that's not the case. <laughs> Either way, it's been a great time, and I will see you all next time. Peace.